Okay, so this is Pilot, and as you can see, his ears have gone awry. He's got a little bit of airplane head. His ears are no longer framing his face. Unfortunately, if we can get behind him, the fold of the cartilage is creasing behind so that his ears fall back instead of forward when he puffs them up. So what we're going to do tonight is ear taping. And we'll start by applying some rubbing alcohol to the inside of the ear. Don't fall off, Pilot. <laughs> Helping us tonight is Lori Grudemott, friend and local breeder. And we'll just rub the rubbing alcohol on with a soft cloth. You can use a cotton swab if you want, or a cotton ball. We're using toilet paper tonight. Training center ran out of paper towels. And you just want to get all of the external debris and oils off so that the stickum on the mole skin applies well and doesn't fall off on its own. Now, Lori is very ex um, experienced at this. You may need an extra person to help you hold the dog when you are working through all this. Next thing you want to do is measure the mole skin to the ear flap. So we'll take the entire piece of mole skin, kind of hold it up to the flap, make sure that we've got the appropriate length. You want to start at the tip and bring as much of the mole skin into the ear as possible and trim from there. You're going to apply the moleskin sticky side down first, then trim. Easiest way to do this is to put as much of the moleskin on the ear on one side so that you only have to trim the other side. Careful with the scissors. You don't need to get extremely close. Leave just a little bit of a lip around the ear. It's going to get tucked under his chin anyway. Then you're just going to smooth the ear flap down onto the moleskin. Make sure you've got a good bond all the way through. And now just the sheer weight of that moleskin is already helping to keep that ear flap in a more appropriate, normal position. You can see how it's framing his face while the other one's still poofing out. Poofing technical term there. And we will repeat with the other side. Now, do keep in mind, Pilot has been at dog class for two hours. He went through his own class and sat through an hour-long agility session. He was fed, he was pottied, so this is a very calm puppy. This is certainly not something you want to attempt when they first come out of their crate for the day. You want to make sure that they've had their exercise and are on the downswing for the evening or you will have quite the handful. All right, we now have matching flaps. The next thing that will be done is kisses, both sides. You're going to take the second piece of moleskin, cut it in half lengthwise, and this will form the, um, the strapping to bring the ears under the chin. So you're going to apply sticky side to the inside of the flap, draw the ears under and attach one to the other under the chin so that we form a little bit of a bonnet as tight as possible while still allowing the puppy to have range of motion. The second piece gets peeled with difficulty. Again, having an extra person help you or having all of your supplies available on a separate table helps. And that one will be applied sticky side to sticky side right along with the other one so that there is no exposed stickum under the chin and it forms a strong bond that hopefully will withstand normal activities. Again, a little bit of pressure to the ear flap to help everything adhere. And you have a finished product.
The ear taping can be done repeatedly as needed throughout the teething cycle of the puppy. Each session should last somewhere between one and seven days. If they last longer than five to seven days, I would suggest taking them off gently, cleaning the ear with the rubbing alcohol again, and reapplying if necessary. If it's stuck on real well, use baby oil to take it off. Anything else they should know? That's about it. All right. Thank you, Lori and Pilot. All done. <laughs>